Yo guys, I'm really hyped to play this game because I really like this game and I will be playing Big Leagues today because it's the best racing game ever released. I'm really hyped. I'm really hyped. I'm really happy that I'm able to play it because it's a masterpiece. I managed to work I managed kinda to make it work in widescreen and windowed mode, which is pretty nice, though it's a bit broken, but as you can see, it's an amazing piece of game, to be honest. You have no sound, so your mom can't catch you when you play it at night, which is amazing. When you play it in widescreen, you also have amazing stuff, like you have speed and mileage or whatever the hell it is on in the middle instead of on the tachometer or odometer, whatever it, the hell it is. I forgot the names. And driving physics are really amazing. I'm really amazed by them. The controller support is completely amazing. I was unable to make my pad working, which is heartbreaking because that's the feature that no any other game has. It's really stunning, absolutely stunning. The menu is also high quality and you have amazing also also amazing graphic options. You can change them from low to normal and nothing else, which is amazing because whatever you need, what the hell you need in life? All you need is normal life. Normal stuff, that's why you have normal graphic settings. If you are poor or if you are a retarded person, you can play at low graphic settings, which is absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. The graphics are great. The lightning effects are the best, I believe, because they really, they have really paid a lot of attention to this game and that's what makes it special. And I gotta say that I'm really surprised with the quality of this game because people claimed it to be the one of the worst games ever. And I gotta say it's one of the best games ever because it has lot of stuff. And Big Rigs in short is BR, which where B stands for best and R stands for racing. Which if you add G, you get BRG, which means best racing game. Really, I'm not kidding. The best thing, as you can see, is the normal and low graphic settings. It's really amazing to see how much dedication they paid to normal people and to what stuff people want to see in games. You can also get high quality of effects, though it's only for rich men. Rich men, only for, or maybe rich women, whatever the hell. High settings for rich people, normal for normal people that are also sane, and low for insane people or re retards, literally. You get high scores that do not exist, which is amazing. You get some credits, which are pretty high quality too. Which means that all you have to do is press random race to see amazing thing that that is literally... Give me a while, alright? Which is literally winning the race! You get teleported to your previous track and previous track, which means that you are able to redo your race all the time. That feature is only present in this game, which makes it certainly unique. It's a really entertaining piece of game and I gotta say, I have a lot of fun in it. As you can see, this game is also glitch in this case, which actually proves it that it's not a glitch, it's not a bug, it's actually a feature. Because this game has a lot of effort put in. Let me try another track. Let's drive us Thunderball. Whatever it is. Let's go to the Forgotten Road 1. You have five tracks, which is amazing, amazing. It's way better than 25 tracks in any other game. Why? Because you are winning every time. And that's what matters the most, you know? 
And one thing that is amazing in every, in every aspect in this game is the fact that you are winning no matter what. But I probably mention, mention it. Just because the game crashed now means that I have crashed into the building, which is next to impossible. I'm gonna relaunch the game again so you can see it in full glory again. Though I hope it will get captured by my OBS. As you can see, it's a, the menu is really amazing. You have a lot of settings to pick from. And I'm really astonished. Let me pick another thing, which is maybe Thunder. And go again to Forgotten Road 1. Because I need you to show one another thing, which is one of the best things in this game. Probably. It really shows the high quality of the game. As you can see, if you... As a rate, using the normal throttle on first or whatever the hell this gear is, and you let down of throttle, throttle or whatever the hell it is, accelerate or pedal, you don't break instantly. It's all right, but if you go in reverse and stop pressing the down arrow, you get instant breaks. It really puts a lot of um, passes on physics and anything that you really want to see in a game. It's really something really amazing. I really enjoy playing this game. I At first I was like, no way this game is going to be great. And while I am playing this right now, I'm astonished at its at its quality. It's a really high quality title. If you press C, you get different camera, which is this thing, which is amazing. You are able to see almost the whole map and anything under, which proves the point of gaming. Also, you can do whatever the hell you want while driving. It's an open world game with five maps and three cars to choose from. Because the fourth one crashes the game, which is really amazing thing, which makes you think, "Oh man, you need you. I need to fix this game. I need to fix this game." Which means that you are playing another game in it because you are finding the values how to add the fourth game. Fourth car back to game, which really puts the high quality in this, in literally the worst, because in the game you have the game to get another game, or whatever the hell I'm talking about. You can also choose whatever the hell checkpoint you want to go by, whatever the hell it is. Sorry for that, but you can go through almost everything. Trees won't stop you. This thing won't stop you too. So why? Why waste time? This game just proves that you can be an ultimate person. You can do almost anything. Anything you want. No, if we had this thing way more years ago, there would be probably maybe no poverty. Or maybe everyone would have... Whatever the hell they want, they will, there would be no psychopaths. Literally, the game would cure every disease and everything existing on the, in this world. Which puts me to the uh, conclusion. Why it's an underrated game. Underrated gem. Why people forgot about this game. It's literally one of the best things ever. If you also press the handbrake. Or whatever the hell it is, actually in my case it's spacebar. You are going in the reverse too, but you are accelerating, accelerating a bit quicker. As you can see, I am able to reach 100 miles per hour in a way quicker time. Because that's what real life is about. If you pile your handbrake whenever you, the hell you want, you are able to reach very amazing speeds and you are able to kill yourself which means that all you need is luck this game pushes the boundaries of realism to the maximum really maximum and that's what makes me a bit amazed as you can see why go 
Over the bridges? Why well, you can't go under them? Why? Well, water in real life shouldn't stop you. And this game just proves that if you can do some stuff, you can be next to impossible to beat. Which means that... Holy cow! This game is a slush solution to every problem that is on earth. I think I will show you one last thing I can while the game is still running. Which is if you choose the Sunrise V12, W12, which is actually Volvo something or whatever the hell it is, I forgot the name, and you press Dawn to race it. And you get into the race, random race. All you get is game crash. Yeah, that's really amazing. I have to show one last thing before I end this episode because I'm hugely astonished by the quality of the game you are able to see right now. Let me p choose this car and do will passage because all we need is to do one more thing, which is accelerate to 1000 miles per hour, which is the speed that is kind of unheard of. Let me use my space button and we'll quickly see how fast we can go. Though we got a one problem, that is nothing pressing because we can always see that if our red, whatever the hell it is, crosses the circle four times, we know that we reached the ultimate speed. Which means that if we press go to the menu and press quick to windows, we get amazing thing. We quit to the menu window, which is a feature, another feature that is unheard of. Which means that I'm more than satisfied with this game. I'm really glad I bought this years ago or whatever the hell I did. I don't know what the hell I did actually. It's a piece of art that is hugely underrated by the people. And that's why you should try it one time. Even after seeing this episode where I make an idiot out of myself. That's all. Thank you for watching this. Bye.